Business as Usual is the 116th episode of the television series Star Trek Deep Space Nine, the 18th episode of the fifth season. Despondent over his mounting financial woes, Quark allows his cousin Gala to talk him into joining the arms sales business. Meanwhile, O'Brien juggles fatherhood, work, and social life as he cares for baby Yoshi. Topic. Plot Quark and Jadzia Dax are playing Tongo in the bar, but the Ferengi's heart isn't in it. Since losing his business license, Quark has lurched from one bad deal to the next causing insurmountable deals and leaving him with nothing. Quark's cousin Gala arrives on the station and offers to help him out of his predicament. Quark knows immediately what the Enterprise is, selling weapons. Gala tells him that no weapons will be brought to Deep Space Nine, as Odo would stop them. Instead, Quark will use his skills with customers to display holographic versions of the weapons in the holosuites thereby sidestepping the law as no actual weapons will be brought on the station. The weapons will be supplied by the suavely sinister Haggath. Gala claims the money will help him pay off his debt, help renew his business license and eventually enable him to buy his moon. Haggath arranges for Quark's percentage to go immediately to his creditors, so it will be a while before Quark actually sees any of his earnings. Quark turns out to be a natural at selling weapons and the scheme becomes quite profitable, and Odo's attempt to arrest him fails when the Bajoran government intervene, as Haggath sold weapons to the Bajoran resistance during the Cardassian occupation. However Quark soon finds himself ostracized by his friends, particularly Jadzia, who are disgusted that Quark has sunk so low. Quark's latest client, the regent of Palomar, who is at war with General Nasuk, says he wants to make a purchase that will kill somewhere in the region of 28 million of his opponent's people. Gala and Haggath take the matter lightly, but Quark is horrified at the idea of being responsible for so much death. Quark, who has now paid off the last of his debts, realizes he must find a way to escape with his life and avoid being part of a genocide program. He invites General Nasuk to the station on the pretense of supplying weapons to both sides, inspired by Haggath's previous dealings. He arranges for representatives of the two sides, the Regent of Palomar, and General Nasuk, to encounter each other in a cargo bay, making himself conveniently absent in the process. A firefight ensues, and they leave the station in pursuit of the double-crossing Gala and Haggath. Quark's friendship with Jadzia is renewed, and although his financial woes are over he finds himself with a fresh debt when Sisko makes him pay for damage ensuing from the firefight. Meanwhile, O'Brien's new son Kiriyoshi is going through a phase where he will cry without fail when the chief puts him down as Keiko is away and his regular babysitter is unavailable. He tries to bring his son to work, and even play darts while holding him, but eventually he is forced to take some time off. Kiriyoshi finally settles when Worf holds him, giving O'Brien an opportunity for some much-needed rest. <laughs> <laughs> External links Business as usual. On IMDb. Business as usual at tv.com. Business as usual at Memory Alpha, a Star Trek wiki. Business as usual at Star Trek.com.